hey guys welcome back to my channel this is stephanie nicole h i know what you're thinking yes it's still august and yes it is still pool and margarita weather however my mind is already in the fall season particularly halloween i wanted to get started on my fall crafts early because christmas will be here before we know it so today I'm going to be showing you how I made these Halloween reverse tie-dye t-shirts fun for the entire family. This cute and inexpensive craft was accomplished using items from Dollar Tree as well as Michaels. So if you want all the details, keep watching. Girls, pull up, I'm outside, waiting by the curb, too upset to drive, you getting no money. let's get started so the real star of the show are these cardboard cutouts that i got from dollar tree so the first one is the bride of frankenstein second one is this skeleton princess one and then the last one is this happy halloween one this set of three pumpkins that i got for my daughter's shirt actually came from michael's the set was three dollars so here's everything that I'm going to use today. So black t-shirts, I got one for my husband, a couple for me, and one for my daughter. And then also I have a spray bottle as well as a bottle of bleach and of course those cardboard cutouts. The bleach came from Dollar Tree and the t-shirts were all from Michael's. My t-shirt and my daughter's t-shirt were $3.99 and my husband's was I believe $4.99. So for my bleach mixture, I'm just using any old spray bottle. It doesn't really matter. And I'm filling it about one third of the way up with water and the rest with the bleach. The only thing about the spray bottle is you wanna make sure that it has a setting for spray as well as stream. I'm doing this all outside because the cleanup is a lot easier. So I have all of my t-shirts laid out. So I have my t-shirts and my daughter's. First step is to put a plastic bag under each t-shirt just so that when you're spraying the bleach mixture it does not soak through to the back of the shirt so for my daughter's tiny t-shirt i just folded up an old grocery bag and slipped that under her shirt for mine i'm just taking any old grocery bag and slipping that under my shirt unfolded just laid out flat this step is completely optional however i highly recommend it just so that the bleach does not soak to the back of the shirt Make sure that these shirts are laid as flat as possible. This ensures that the design transfers well to the shirt. This entire project for five shirts costs less than $28. I would call that a steal. So now that I have my grocery bags under my shirt, I'm gonna place my wooden cutouts on top of my shirt, making sure they're nice and straight and centered. So I'm doing the Happy Halloween one on one of my shirts, also the skeleton princess one and then for my daughters I'm just going to use those little pumpkins that I got from Michaels and I just staggered those pumpkins out to make a cute little design. Michaels also has a ton of cute little cutouts so have fun and be creative. So I have my spray bottle on the spray setting and I'm going to go ahead and spray that bleach mixture on the t-shirt so starting with my daughter's shirt so just spraying around those pumpkins making sure to get in those spaces where it has the actual design of the face of the pumpkin. Here's a quick tip. Make sure not to spray too much of the bleach mixture to oversaturate the fabric because it will bleed and ruin the design. So now I'm spraying down the t-shirt with the Skeleton Princess, again getting really close so that I can make sure to get that bleach mixture on the facial features as well as the intricate designs of this cutout because I want to see every single detail on the t-shirt. So now that I've finished spraying the cardboard cutout with the spray setting on the bleach mixture, I've changed it over to the stream setting on that spray bottle and spraying some lines to make a different design around that cardboard cutout. So now I've moved over to the Happy Halloween t-shirt, so I'm just spraying that down with the bleach mixture on the spray setting. If you look over to the other two t-shirts, you can see that they have already started to lift. I really wanna see the letters of the Happy Halloween, so I'm getting close and spraying those down with that bleach mixture. 
And again, I'm being very careful not to overspray to oversaturate the fabric. So here's my husband's shirt. He decided to go with the Bride of Frankenstein. So I'm just spraying this down with the bleach mixture. I've already put a grocery bag under the shirt to prevent from bleaching to the back of the shirt. So I'm getting real close, making sure to get all the details of this cardboard cutout. Also to make little splotches all over the shirt, what you do is just hold slightly on the spray bottle handle and the bleach mixture will drip down into little droplets all over the shirt. So here are my original shirts. I'm gonna go ahead and take off those cardboard cutouts. So these little jack-o'-lanterns left a cute little design. I absolutely love it. And the skeleton princess came out amazing as well. And here's the reveal of the Happy Halloween one. As you can see on the right side, the design did not take very well on the Happy Halloween part. So I just put back on the cardboard cutout and I'm gonna spray just a little bit more of the bleach mixture and let it sit on for another couple of minutes or so. I know you probably are wondering how long should you leave that cardboard cutout on the t-shirt before you take it off. The best rule of thumb is when you see the fabric starting to lift to this orangey kind of color, that's when it's okay to take off that cardboard cutout. So this one is my husband's, it came out beautifully. After taking the cardboard cutouts off of the shirts, I let them sit out in the sun for about 15, 20 minutes. And here are the results. So that was mine, my husband's, and here's another one of mine. And here is my daughter's shirt, the little jack-o'-lanterns. I threw all of the t-shirts in the washing machine on cold water and then tumbled to dry. And here are the results. So this one is my husband's, the Bride of Frankenstein. Look at those details, absolutely gorgeous. And since his came out so well, I had to go back and make myself one. So here is my Bride of Frankenstein t-shirt. And next up is the Happy Halloween t-shirt. I absolutely love how this one came out. I was a little worried with the letters on here if they would show up, but they absolutely did and it looks amazing. So here is my skeleton princess and you can see every single detail on her face or lack thereof. And you can see those lines that I made with the stream setting on that spray bottle. So here is my daughter's t-shirt with the little jack-o'-lanterns. It's so cute and so adorable. This is definitely a craft that you can do with the entire family. And here are our family shirts all together. This craft was so fun and so affordable and so easy to do. I highly recommend it. I just love how vintage looking these came out. So make sure you head over to Dollar Tree and pick up some of those cardboard cutouts because you know those Christmas decorations will be out any minute now. Next craft video is going to be a fall door wreath. You don't wanna miss that. For this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you all next time.